So you're playing a 3D game or working on a 3D application and you're curious what is my CPU and GPU running at? In this video I'm going to show you how to check your CPU and graphics temperatures using very lightweight applications and there are five different options so let's go through them. Number five using built-in manufacturer software on laptops or desktop. Some motherboard manufacturers as well as laptop manufacturers include software like Armory Crate which is included on my Asus Tough laptop. And you can open the software and just click on the I button up here. And you can see the CPU temperature up here. You can see the graphics temperature on the right side. It is at 54 degrees. CPU is at 64 degrees. You can also adjust fan speed and modes, as well as you can read the actual fan speed readout from the fan tachometer. You can even see fan acoustics, which is fairly new. But the limitation of this kind of software is that you don't get an overlay to see in games and also this software takes up a lot of system resources as you can see we're not doing anything much but we're still using 25 to 28 percent cpu 7 percent gpu although i'm recording on obs although this software allows you to launch your favorite games from here so you can do that but we're gonna move to the next software number four nzxt cam so we download CAM using the link in the description below. Open the file, it will quickly download all the important files necessary to install CAM. And then give it a few moments to install. There we go, we have a desktop shortcut. We check for updates, it will ask you to log into account. But I think it's optional. There we go, continue in guest mode. Confirm. And there you go, now we have CPU and GPU temperature as well as our network activity. RAM load, disk capacity usage. All of that, even top processes, so you can see OBS is using 3% CPU, 0% GPU, and this much amount of RAM. You can also go to system specs and look at all the system specs. You can launch games, you can track playtime, but mostly you can see your CPU and graphics temperature as well as it has an option to show the overlay, which is right here, you can see, and you can start any game or whatever and it will always stay up top so you can always see your temperature your clock speed your graphics load and temperature as well pretty cool you just click on it again to make it disappear you can even make a new profile if you like and if you go to settings you can enable dark mode which i highly recommend you do so it looks pretty slick and minimal it also supports overclocking your gpu cpu everything but i highly recommend you watch my other videos on my channel to, on how to overclock your graphics i posted a couple days ago but yeah if you have nzxt hardware on your pc such as a cooler or rgb fans or keyboard or mouse you can definitely use this software as an all-in-one solution for temperature monitoring and customizing everything Let's move on to the next one. Number three, open hardware monitor. This is probably one of the lightest weight software to run to monitor your temperature. It is only 500 kilobytes. Just right click, extract, extract all, and now open it. Double click open hardware monitor. That will put a tray icon right here, and you can just double click to launch it. Wait for it to load a little. There you go, it has all the sensors. You can see the motherboard and model number the 11th gen i5 11400H, you can see all the six cores, you can also see the GPU core frequency, memory, and temperature. So very minimal, you can also have it minimized to tray, which is by default, and also run it on Windows Startup if you click this button. And if you want to monitor these temps from your mobile phone, you can run a server, it's a remote web server, and click on run, and you can set the port here. By default, it's 8085, and then you can jump onto your phone and visit this address, which will be different in your case to monitor your temperatures from your phone, which is pretty handy. So you can definitely do that. You can even see temperatures of your SSDs if you have SSDs or hard drives. You can see my 960 Evo is running at 62 degrees. Intel is running at 34 degrees, pretty slick. Number two, hardware info. Let's jump onto hardware info. You can see there are a few versions you can install. You can install it permanently. For this video, I'm just going to download the portable version, but if you want a permanent way to monitor your temperatures, you can download installer version. So I'm going to download portable, click on portable again, it's downloading, downloaded, right click, extract all, extract, 
now I can just run the 64-bit version here and there we go we have multiple windows open it says there's a new beta version but we don't want the beta versions so we're just gonna close out of that and here you can see our uh, CPU specs it's an Intel Core i5 Tiger Lake system you can even see all the instruction sets it supports temperatures you name it all details are right here if I change my GPU you can see Nvidia 3060 is available you can see the memory frequency all the clocks as well as if you want to look at the temperatures you click on sensors up top left and then you have the same list pretty much similar to what we had on open hardware monitor you can see our Intel Core i5 core temperatures individual core temperatures are available you can see average temperature is about 60 degrees which is fairly normal I'd be concerned if I was idling at 80 to 90 degrees that'd be a cause of concern if I keep scrolling down I should also see the temperatures of my GPU you can see my GPU is running at 55 degrees now a cool feature of this application is you can pin the temperature to your taskbar so you can right click this you can click on add to tray and then if you go up do the same for the CPU Here's our CPU temp, add to tray. You can see the core temperature, GPU temperature. This red one is the GPU temperature. You can change the color to something you can recognize, so green, NVIDIA. I can make this one blue. Now I always know what the temps are like for the CPU and GPU. For the final tool for the day, which is my number one and my favorite, is MSI Afterburner. Now I've made a few videos in the past about MSI Afterburner and how to overclock your system, but you just download it by going to the link in the description. Install it just like so open the file double click and hit next till the end of time and you'll have it installed once you have it installed and that will give you this screen now on this screen it may look a bit intimidating at first but it's very simple you can choose what is displayed on this right side by default you should be able to see your graphics temperature which is at 55 degrees and if you scroll down a little further you can see our CPU temperature as well roughly the same you can configure this to your liking if you go to settings monitoring and then you can check and uncheck whatever you want so if you want your CPU GPU temperature just mark this check mark on the left and then scroll down to look for CPU temperature It's right here and then if you want it in game where you can monitor all of the information you can click on show in on screen display now lastly all you need to do is go to on screen display create a toggle shortcut i've set it to control backslash and that will toggle the overlay on or off during a game and to tune it further you can open riva tuner statistics server just by double clicking here that will open riva tuner you can select the color palette, you can see like the size of the text. To make it really cool, just click on raster 3D. That will actually render this text in cool 3D mode instead of vector 3D. Now you can minimize both of those and launch your favorite game. I'm going to jump into Apex Legends and there you go. It automatically comes up on the top left side. You can see we're running DirectX 11 at 144 FPS. We can see the temperature of our CPU is at 88 degrees. Graphics is at 59 degrees. These are the usages. These are the power numbers. And these are the frequencies. So if I jump into a training match, you can see we have an FPS counter as well as our temperatures. You can see our CPU is reaching 95 degrees at 48 watts. You can look at undervolting it. A video on that you can check out on my channel. But yeah, that's how you monitor your um, CPU temperatures. You can monitor it while gaming if you don't have a second monitor to run apps like NZXT Cam or open hardware monitor on a secondary display or on your mobile phones. This is a good way to do that. And there you have it, guys. That's how you monitor your CPU and GPU temps in real time on second monitor or on overlay as shown in MSI Afterburner. As I said during the video, MSI Afterburner is my preferred way of tracking the CPU and GPU temps, but your choice might be different. Maybe NZXT Cam's cleaner look is your choice. So it really doesn't matter what software you use as long as it works for you. Anyway guys, smash that like button if this video helped you monitor your temperatures. Consider subscribing and dinging that notification bell just down there. Check out my other content just up there. And thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.